けに行かないと翼えここは一体大胆な,なのか今の子はいや今は翼を探そう。So, we just walked through some sort of crazy looking crystal portal thing into this re more, even more ridiculous area. So, if you never played Persona game or pretty much, I think most Atlas games actually, they have some sort of pseudo Tokyo esque level design. I don't know if this really represents anything in real Japan or real Tokyo, but. They made this design based on Daitama Observatory, which I'm guessing that the red bubbly thing with all the lighting effects must be the observatory part. But I digress. I think we should push on then. Yeah. So it looks like we got another text. So it looks like Toma is saying there's some weird stuff happening out in Daitama. And Suki's basically explaining that he went to this portal thing. Toma was like, No, you can't be in there. It's dangerous, man. I don't get it, but I gotta save Tubasa, Suki says. Get out of there, man. And we ignore him because we're awesome. <laughs> I like that. We bow our ourselves after we ignore the text. <laughs> Let's just keep going then. Ooh, man. This is gorgeous. Like, wow. I know this is a Wii U game, so our standards have to be kind of low, but still, wow. This is pretty beautiful. What the hell is that? So, something else that's very unique to Persona especially is that there's this very, very colorful gothic art style that they have. Like, all this looks very, like, gothic-y and stuff, but it's weirdly colorful for what it is. Almost like it's, like, backlit goth. Ooh, let's go down. Ah, 
俺は何をしていたんだいい。ここは俺が食い止める。どどうして？話は後だ。お前はあの子を助けてやれ。急げ<笑>でも翼を助けるにはどうすれば
どうすれば信じられんうわっケンが喋ったその声もしかしてさっきの青いお化けみたいな人ああ気づいたらケンになっていた嘘だろ<笑>気をつけて大丈夫だ俺がついてる行くぞ Time for a fight finally! Woo! So it looks like we got a bunch of choices here. You got your usual regular attack, skills, items, guarding, which gives, I guess, EP healing, which is our energy, tactics, eh, escape, which we can't do, and I guess that's all we got. So. Basically, I'm going to be using these two options because I don't think items are useful right now. This is a first enemy. Okay, so it looks like I either have a melee attack or electric attack. Let's try... Oh, cool. Okay, so it shows actually what kind of attack it is. It says it's some sort of sword attack. So if you look at the troll, you see all those different icons. There's a sword, a spear, an axe, a bow, fire, ice, lightning, wind. I guess light damage and dark damage. I really don't know what those last two are, but I'm assuming they are those. So like every other freak in Atlas game period, there is a plethora of weakness and resistance to deal with different enemies. So uh, eh, I'll just attack with a sword. Hopefully it's super effective. Ooh, it was. Nice. So yeah, that, that weakness pop-up kind of proved that to me. So let's see what she has. So she has a healing skill, which is pretty useless. So I guess I also do regular attack. And hope that he's weak against spears as well. Which is the attack type, as it shows on the bottom. Okay. It's probably one of those that's weak to everything kind of enemies. Make you feel good. Oh. Now, something really interesting about this way the stage is arranged. It shows our three characters surrounding the enemies. Instead of, usually it's one side versus another. Like, you see that my other character is... I can't see her, I think, because it's being blocked. Oh yeah, there, you can see her feet behind the troll. So I'm going to go ahead and try my Zeo out. So it does light, it's a light magic electric attack. Let's go see how much damage that does. That's also weak against it. Why am I not surprised? So it's weak against everything we can do to it. And it's dead, awesome. So, I think my Zeo did more damage than my regular attack, so I'm gonna hope the guy is super effective. Ooh, nice. And let's go hopefully kill the blob. And we got the blob. So now that you see the super effective, I didn't make point this before, but you can see an exclamation point over the... I, you know, right over the enemy to show that super effective. And let's finish it off. Nice! Looks like we get level ups. And we get some weird items I've never seen before. Ah, they have the sound! So they have the sound effect from uh, Fire Emblem as a level up sound, which excites me a little bit because I play a lot of Fire Emblem. Anyway. Uh, so we have a bunch of different stats here. We have uh, his name in English and Japanese, which is kind of cool. Um, they show his HP, energy points, experience to next level, the resistance chart. So it looks like my guy is weak to spears and strong against axes, or resist axes. He's also weak to fire, but resists electricity. And then there's the different stats, which is strength for physical damage, magic for magic damage, skill for bow, Speed for turn order, 
Defense for def you know, just defending and resistance, I'm guessing for like, I don't know, like um, poison and stuff. And then he has normal luck, which I have no idea what the hell that means. And what do you get? Uh, looks like this. <laughs> looks like the same stats. なんとか倒せたようだな。まだ こちらこそ礼を言わせてくれ。お前のうちに秘めた輝きが俺の闇を払ってくれたんだ。ありがとう。そしてよろしく、いつき。ああ、よろしく、クロム。私はシーダ。あなたは翼といういまごろどうなってたかわからないから。ありがとうございます、シーダさん。シードもですか私も思い出そうとはしてるのだけどそっかどうしよう、いつきくんそれだな、できるだけ早く脱出した方がいいあれが敵のすべてだとは限らないクロムの言う通りだ詳しいことは生き延びてから考えよう。